Hi guys, welcome to the bedroom. <laughs> um, yeah, temporary studio. Um, it is Social Saturday. Welcome, and it is actually Saturday. It is the third of April, and it's. Um, I don't think you can see, but it's um, two minutes past four p.m. <laughs> Very late today, because I was just sat at the computer and it was quarter past 12 and then you know I didn't do much at all I had a couple of different conversations with friends watched a YouTube video and then I looked again and it was like why is it five to three yeah so anyway um I was <laughs> I was still in my jammies with my dressing gown because when I got up this morning I planned to have a shower um I planned to go down and have a brew and then come up and have a shower get dressed and exercise but as I said um yeah when I looked at the clock it was quarter past 12 and then when I looked again it was five to three so I was like whoa okay so I am quickly here doing a social Saturday video because we're about to have tea <laughs> can't believe it um or dinner to some of you guys here in the UK well for me anyway I don't know well I say here in the UK because certain parts of the UK do it differently but here up north where I am we have breakfast lunch maybe some people call it brunch if you're posh we have breakfast which is obviously the meal as soon as you wake up well not as soon as you wake up first meal of the day is breakfast some would argue that it's the main meal of the day breakfast then we have lunch um, which is usually something between breakfast and dinner um, and it's usually a light snack, like maybe some fruit or some toast, cheese on toast, something like that. Um, a sandwich, maybe. Then we have dinner, um, which is still a light meal, but dinner time. Between 12 and 1, we have dinner. Then we have tea, which is what how we do we have tea as a main meal of the day and that is at tea time which a lot of people call dinner time um and that is between for us anyway usually about four ish because we during the week uh we wait for taylor to come home from school and he finishes at three o'clock well just after three o'clock but he doesn't get on till four because of the school transport so our we start tea at around four and between half four and five we sit down and have our evening meal which is tea to us which a lot of people refer to as dinner um, and then um, we may have a snack after that but then sometimes we have supper which is anything for, from around about an hour-ish before you go to bed and again it's like cereal something like you'd have for your breakfast cereals toast that sort of thing so yeah we are about to have tea um, which we don't really have dinner much we usually I'm not a breakfasty person, so I kind of skip breakfast and just have lunch. So about 11 o'clock-ish is when I eat. First thing, like my first foody meal of the day is lunch, which is around 11 o'clock-ish for me. Um, and again, like I said, I'll have um, yeah, toast, I'll have a sandwich, um, maybe some scrambled eggs, something like that. Um, then I don't have dinner. Very rarely have dinner unless we go to my brother's burger bus. And if we have dinner, I don't have lunch. <laughs> so, like, then dinner becomes my first meal of the day. Um, and then tea for us is the main meal. We very rarely have supper. We'll just have a snack later on. But, yeah, so, anyway. Got some really sidetracked there. We're about to have tea. But, yeah, so, um, I know videos have been a bit... Well, they haven't really been lacking. They have been there, but they've been pre-recorded. Um, as a lot of you will know sorry I'm playing with my chair um as a lot of you will know last monday just gone no it wasn't no it wasn't it was last week <laughs> wow it was a whole week gone already um yeah so not this monday gone the monday before last week so nearly two weeks ago i had my um covid vaccine and i didn't know how I was going to react. No, it was definitely last week. It was definitely last week, it was the 23rd. Wow, has it been that long? Um, yeah, anyway, I didn't know how I was going to react. So prior to that, I filmed quite a number of videos in bulk. 
and then I scheduled them for last week because I had no idea how I was going to react and this week because this week we've been doing Taylor's desk um yeah that's right so yeah it was two weeks ago wow that's gone quick I had no side effects whatsoever apart from feeling tired for a few days sore arm which actually still is if I push it <laughs> if I touch it it's like ow um but yeah and that's it but I was also mid um seasonal allergy flare at the same time as well so it was hard to kind of determine between what was the vaccine side effects and what was that <laughs> so because they're very similar like cold and fluey type but other than that I had nothing so yes awesome I'm very lucky I had the AstraZeneca one which apparently is predominant is like the one that predominantly gives side effects I had nothing um but yeah so awesome touch wood my second one in may doesn't affect me too badly either but yeah so i am wow if it's been two weeks it'll be two weeks on monday then i'm pretty much covered now aren't I, for a while um anyway yeah awesome um but yeah so like i said videos have been a bit lacking because they have been there but they've been pre-recorded so i haven't done any videos at all sat down and filmed a video at all since doing the pre-recorded ones apart from i think i did social saturday last week um but yeah so that one that was the only video i sat down to record apart from this one i'm doing now i haven't done anything um but yeah so it's been a busy week it's been a really busy week and a really exciting week as well because just wow um not only have we been doing Taylor's bedroom to get him out of the front front room, games room, into his bedroom, then I can move in there with all this lot. Um, it was our wedding anniversary yesterday. Thank you so much to everybody who wished us anniversary. Thank you to my subbies who don't have me as a friend on Facebook and what have you. Um, emailed me to wish me to wish us wish us happy anniversary. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, we had an awesome day, although it was predominantly filled with building Taylor's desk, but it was fun all the same. Um, yeah, we had a pretty cool day, nice chilled out day. Um, I blame Amazon completely. Um, I very, I wouldn't even say on impulse, I bought an exercise bike. <laughs> I was looking at craft supplies and I ended up with an exercise bike. Yeah. Um, I was actually looking for metal cogs, um, you know, like steampunky style cogs, metal cogs, clock stuff and what have you for embellishment. Um, and Amazon, as it does, suggested, you you know, as you've seen this, you may be interested in these. And because the only thing I can think of is because I was looking for cogs and that sort of thing. It's, it thought of mechanic stuff and it um, recommended this exercise bike. And without hesitation, I'm like, that sounds like a good idea. Bye. <laughs> so I bought an exercise bike. Um, not an actual outdoor bike, an indoor exercise bike, a home one. So it's a stationary one. Um, I'm like, awesome, that's coming on Thursday. <laughs> but then I very, after buying that, I very Im impulsively, on impulse, bought a hula hoop. I know, the inner child in me reared its head. Um, yes, I bought a weighted exercise hula hoop and I love it. I love the hoop. I don't love my waist and my hips and my ribs hurting. I coughed this morning. I nearly cried. Um, yeah, that came on Thursday. Uh, so I spent all day on and off, well, all evening on and off on Thursday trying to get it to spin. Couldn't do it. Um, I couldn't even get it to go around once before it just kept hitting the floor. So I thought, right, okay, no problem. Um, I spent most of the day and evening watching videos. Thought, right, okay practice 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 you know like you do um i got up yesterday morning went downstairs had a brew and everything got dressed went back downstairs picked the hoop up spun it and it was like whoa <laughs> it wouldn't stop it must have gone round about 12 times and then it dropped to the floor and i was like i did it i did it not only did i did it but wow i did it more than once and where did that come from <laughs> so then that spurred me on to do more so yeah um, I find I can get it going a few times now, but I hold my breath, which is not good. Not good. I don't advise you do it. But yeah, as soon as it starts spinning and I know it's not going to stop, I'm like, <laughs> I tense up and I hold my breath. So it's like, and I tense up like this as well. So 
it's spinning around and I'm like this and then when it drops I can't breathe so well I can breathe but I'm like <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted but then I can't spin it again because I'm out of breath so yeah I need to work on that so I've got to give myself a few minutes five or ten minutes and then do it again but yesterday I got very cocky with it and I actually managed to turn in a circle whilst doing it um a lot of the videos I've been watching are more like hula hooping like dance hooping um it's not just about the hula hooping it's about doing the tricks and you know spinning it and like we put your hand behind your back and grab hold of it and spin it around above your head and put it back down that sort of thing i can't do that yet but i can spin it on my hand like they do um not in the house it's my ceilings aren't big enough in the house but i can actually i can spin it in the house actually but not as high up like it's forced to but i can get it to spin around my around my hand where you're not gripping it all the time you just let it roll around your wrist like that side of your hand sort of thing so instead of doing that and grabbing you just roll your wrist for it to go around um but yeah but i used to um baton twirling when i was younger i never went to any of them things just my friend used to be a um, morris dancer and she had a baton so i used to be a dab hand at doing that um but yeah so i could get the hoop to spin around and roll around my wrist instead of grabbing and grabbing and grabbing as it turns <laughs> but i'm i'm not bruised yet but I feel like I've got a bruise all the way down there and that part there because when the hoop's about to start dropping, I can grab it before it does. And when I do that, it whacks me here all the time and I catch it there on that like muscly, bony bit there. Um, yeah, I catch it on that all the time. I'm going to end up with a bruise on this part of my leg here because when the hoop starts falling, I instinctively lift my knee up to catch it and it whacks my leg. Um and don't hoop with nothing on your feet seriously if you've got a weight any hoop but a weighted hoop especially don't do it barefoot um yes uh, this morning sorry well not even this morning about an hour ago before i come on i were on facetime to dana my daughter and i were hooping while i were doing it and i dropped it and it hit my toe and i was like mm -hmm. i created a whole load of new swear words that didn't exist before <laughs> hurt oh my god did it hurt i've been hooping with my trainers on or my shoes on you know so yeah don't do it barefoot when you're a pro when you're a beginner wow that hurt i've never felt pain like it i thought i broke my toe um but yeah so hence the gear um i've been hooping today but i've also started exercising again and yeah i figured now it's time get off your fat lazy backside and do something with your life woman because um, it's all right sitting there saying I need to do this and I need to do that but sitting there and saying I need to do it ain't gonna get it done is it I get off my backside and do it and my t-shirt is mine well I know it's mine but it's actually my design um I think I need to tilt the camera down actually I'll just take that off these are my notes I'll take that off this is actually my own design um a friend of mine made it um yeah so down there it says Jim workout and then it's like give your muscles a workout <laughs> yeah my friend made it a few years ago my i've just jotted it down on a piece of paper i'm like can you make me that she's like yeah of course I can so yeah my t-shirt my design um and she also said because it was my design because i re like drew it out and requested it she wouldn't use it for anybody else so one of a kind yeah um anyway <laughs> <laughs> again babbling about nothing but yeah so anyway that's why i've been a wall a little bit more than anything apart from taylor's desk i've been exercising guys and i've been tiring myself out but there is going to be a change with regards to filming um i'm gonna rest my feet up better and i stop swiveling the chair because i annoy myself editing when i'm doing that um and yes, Debs, I don't know if you watch my other video, but I'm not looking through the window today because the blinds are drawn, as they were in last week's Social Saturday video, um, which I'm waiting. I don't think you've seen it yet because you've not mentioned it, but I'm waiting for you to pick up on it. She always, oh, she's the first one to pick up on me going like that all the time through the window. So. Um, but yes, some of you eagle-eyed viewers will know that half my hair is gone. Um, I had six inch i had six inches of it chopped off a couple of weeks ago um it needed it it really needed it my shoulder needed it 
um, because it was just that long. I couldn't even wash it properly, let alone do anything with it. So the decision was made um, to have it cut family. You know, we didn't go to an hairdresser or anything like that because at the moment restrictions aren't, we're not allowed family, uh, my sister did it, so a family member did it. Um, but yeah, fully masked and everything. <laughs> Safety precautions taken. But yeah, it will, I, I couldn't, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. My shoulder's not so bad now, it, it's hurting now because I've been exercising. But yeah, it will, I, it needs to go, please do something. I've had enough, I can't cope. Couldn't even wash it. So yeah it's Taylor wandering past but yeah so yes eagle-eyed viewers i've had six inch of my hair chopped off and it's oh so much better um and to get to the point now we're here as i said it's been a busy week um yeah it's easter to sun easter sunday tomorrow so i won't be doing any filming now until next week um, I might not have a work in progress Wednesday video next week. Um, I won't, I know I won't, I won't be doing any sewing for tomorrow's um, Slow Stitch Sunday because, as I said, tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so we'll be at my parents for tea. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I, as of yesterday actually, um, <clears throat> I'm now an official design team member for Tracy Fox over at Love Junk Journals. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. Um, you guys have no idea how excited I were about that. I have known about this since February. Um, and I can't believe I've managed to keep it quiet all this time. But, you know, I said we'd wait until it was made official. And <clears throat> it were also... Well, Tracy had said about leaving it for a, a month or two anyway, because she'd just um, signed two other new newbies up. So I just like said, let them settle in and everything first. So, but I was already, I just literally that day announced that I were on G's design team at Happiness in Crafting. And she messaged and said, congratulations on being accepted on another one. And I was just going to message and ask if you'd like to join mine. I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, Yeah some of you i'm not i have actually mentioned it in previous videos a while ago but some of you guys know and some of you won't when i first started my junk journal journey adventure i made it a personal goal to just even have enough subscribers back then um to be able to apply to be on tracy's design team way before i went on anybody else's design team this was a goal right from the start to get enough subscribers on YouTube to even be able to apply for one of Tracy's design team call outs because she used to do them where the lowest one were like 100 subscribers and then she'd do some others sometimes she'd approach people to be guest design teams design team members and it were like I think when she did them original well when I first started I think when she did them subscriber counts didn't count it were just would you like to do a guest design team project so it was my goal and my aim and Michelle will tell you because she was the person I confided in right from the start as soon as I started down the junk journal in rabbit hole um, watching Gail Agostinelli's videos is what made me find the junk journal in junk journal junkies groups through those groups and also um, Gail herself mentioning it I found Tracy's channel and then through Tracy's channel I found her junk journal group her Foxy Crafters group um, and yeah, I don't know what it were. I don't, I honestly don't know what it were about Tracy, but something drew me to her straight away. And I've pretty much followed, I don't stalk <laughs> much, I've followed her ever since. Um, and yeah, and twice, twice I missed out on design team calls. The first time I didn't have enough subscribers, she was after channels with 100 or more subscribers. And I think I had about, 62 or something like that i can't remember so i missed out on that one um and the second one i could have applied sorry um yeah the second time i could have applied but i didn't have time to meet the deadline because it was back in 2019 um 
19, yeah, and it was like at the beginning of 2019, I'd said to Michelle, I'm going to work my backside off and make it one of my personal goals to not necessarily get on, but even to just have enough subscribers to be able to apply to Tracy's design team. So I worked my backside off. Um, Tracy doing a Share the Love event helped dramatically. Um, that got me over 100 subscribers and then she put a design team call out and I'm like, oh, yes. And then when I read it, I'm like, oh, I don't have time to do it. Because for that one, she wanted people to make a project using one of her kits, like apply, um, and she'd give you a kit and then you to make a project with that kit and submit it to her, like make a video as well and submit it to her. But I think it were a two week deadline and it was like, oh, poo. It was the second week's deadline was the week that we were going on holiday. So I didn't have time to do it. It's like, I've got a week. If I apply now, I can do it. But if I apply now, I've got one week to do something and get it into it. Because next week, the week after, like the second week of the deadline, we will be away. We will be on holiday for a full week and I wouldn't be able to do it. And I honestly, this is how desperately I wanted it. I even contemplated applying and taking my craft stuff on holiday with us to be able to fulfil the requirements whilst we were on holiday. And I'm like, <laughs> Peg Man put his foot down. He's like, no, we're going on holiday. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't. So yeah, I kicked myself big style over that one. Then after all that... Um, I didn't give up, um, but then after all that, it was like, yeah, no problem. I had, I felt more confident because I had the subscriber account, well, over 100 anyway, I had the subscriber account and everything, and then um, I spotted on, I'd actually gone to Etsy to buy some kits on Antique Papery, and I spotted Sherry had put a thing on her um, announce, shop announcement saying she wanted design team members, so I applied to Antique Papery, and that's how I was, I ended up on hers and not long after I ended up on Sherry's design team Tracy put another call out but it was like oh do you know what as much as I really want to do it I'm doing this so I'll step back and I'll give the other newbies a chance because I remember what it felt like to want to apply um yeah and there's been a few times since Tracy's put design team calls out and I've thought mm, no I'll step back because I'm doing this or now I'm on Daisy's design or then I was on Daisy's design team now I'm on G's design team um but then Tracy messaged me so it was like oh my god not only is it to be on a design team but Tracy messaged me I'm like oh wow talk about fangirling guys <laughs> yeah it was just amazing so I immediately Michelle's inbox I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god you'll never guess what so yeah we both had a couple of about 10-15 minutes like oh wow over that <laughs> but yeah I kept it quiet all this time guys but it was officially and I was officially announced yesterday by Tracy um, she did message me yesterday morning saying are you still in I'm like hell yeah of course I'm in um but yeah so it was officially announced yesterday that I am now on Tracy Fox's Love Junk Journal's Fox Creative Design Team. I actually feel like I've achieved something. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet, but I feel like I've achieved something. It's such such a big goal. A big goal has now been ticked off my list. So, yeah. Um, and then this morning, actually yesterday, um, tea time, I think it, uh, 20 past five or something like that, um, but I only saw it this morning. I got a message on Instagram from Jenny over at Genesis Crafts asking if I wanted to be a brand rep for her for her new bunny and bird launch, which was yesterday. So I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, Jenny has launched her own digital designs. As most of you know, you will have heard me talk about Jenny before. She does um, my logo stuff the business logo stuff and i buy all sorts of other stuff from her you've probably if you've been with me a while you'll have seen the teddies and stuff that i bought the grandbabies for christmas with their names on that sort of thing um but yeah jenny does print for other people but she also illustrates her own artwork and she's awesome guys awesome so now she's trying to focus more on that and she's launching she's just launched yesterday bunny and bird which are her own little creations obviously a bunny and a bird um doing different things and she um 
launched with some brand reps. Michelle is a brand rep. I will link to Michelle's video, her unboxing video. Go and watch it, guys. It's awesome. Michelle's also one of my design team members, which in theory is a brand rep. Um, but yeah, but go and watch that video that she did for Jenny, her unboxing video. It's amazing. She came to me and she asked, she's like, right, I want, I need to do this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to send you a random video. Okay. <laughs> Tea's ready. Um, yeah, she's like, I'm going to send you a random video. Um, like a random unboxing video, not Jenny stuff, just random stuff in a box. Can you let me know if the lighting's okay, if the sounding's okay, blah de blah. So I watched, she did, she popped stuff on YouTube and sent me a link to it, private, and I was like, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. I've told Michelle many times she's a natural when it comes to doing this sort of thing, uh, because we video back and forth anyway. But I felt so honoured as well that she came to me. Um, it's like, awesome. And this is like the third time in the last two or three weeks that people have come to me for advice on different things for filming and what have you and it's like oh wow so yeah um but yeah so jenny approached me and asked if i would like to be one of be her brand rep so i'm like yes now this is very different because this is not journal well it is journaling but not junk journaling guys this is more planner um and going Back before I did journal, before I got into the junk journal rabbit hole, I did used to play around with planning planners and stuff like that. I didn't do planning videos. I don't think I did. No, I didn't get that far. But the idea was before I would jump, went down the junk journal rabbit hole, I was going to do planner videos. I was going to buy myself a new planner, and I was going to get. I have loads of stickers anyway and washi tapes. Um, but I was going to use my paper crafting side of things to do planner video planner style videos like plan with me and that sort of thing so um then i ended up down the junk journaling rabbit hole and that all went to pop um but yeah jenny's side of things is more the planner side of things she's releasing her bunny and bird um as planner stickers and planners and all that sort of stuff so um yeah i will be receive. i mean go and watch michelle's video you'll see what you get in a well, you'll see what she got in a brand rep video. Um, but she's offering planner packs and stuff like that, sticker packs and what have you. I will give more information when I get my brand rep box and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And there'll be a special discount code, guys. Um, Yeah, so... But yeah, so really excited about that. So within the space of two weeks, I've had three people come and ask me for help and advice with regards to videoing. Um and what have you which is awesome because you guys are doing amazing perfect perfect um even without my help but perfect um a few weeks back i was made a moderator on susan taylor brown's um i'm gonna say popping us then but it's not well it is she's still popping us in the etsy shop um but she changed the name to a group it's creative circle i believe but i'll link to that below anyway but she made me a moderator on her live um, every Wednesday she goes live and I've been there we are pretty much from the start uh, but because we're all from different time zones and I'm pretty much always there um, yeah she, and the clock's going back and forth and what have you she made me a moderator a couple of weeks ago but yeah so within the space of a month I've been approached by three or four different well two three people to be precise three people for videoing advice and YouTube advice I've been made a moderator for live <laughs> videos every week um, and I'm now two different well design team brand rep which are the same thing really you're just basically using other people's brands um things you know promoting their brands but yeah and uh speaking of design teams although i am already on daisies at tsunami rose design team i will announce well announce i will let you guys know that daisy pops some more um picture posts up in numerous dupes yeah. numerous journal groups junk journal groups on facebook yesterday that she is actually looking for new design team members so i will link to daisy's channel below she don't think she's mentioned it on her channel but i'll link to her channel below and yeah you just contact her through i believe it's through her etsy shop or facebook if you've got her on facebook i'll drop the links below anyway guys so if you want to apply please do she's awesome um can't remember how many subscribers you need i think it's over 500 
I think it could be over 500 subscribers. I'm not sure where it could be 100. I think it's 500. I can't remember, guys. Uh, but I will pop all the links below anyway. But check her out, guys. Because, yeah, honestly, as a design team member for Daisy, you, know, you guys will be aware if you watched last week's Social Saturday, I finished my beautiful ring-bound journal using tape not tailors sorry <laughs> uh, using daisy's tsunami rose designs um kit pages her uh new beginnings kit pages yeah i love being on daisy's design team it's fantastic um i love being on everybody's design team i've not i've not disliked any at all i mean i've only been on three really i've only done antique papery and then i'm um I'm on daisies already and I'm doing G's. But I've never disliked anything. I've loved all of it. Um, I do have... Um, I don't have it to hand. I don't think, do I? Yes, I do. It's here in my project box. Um, I do have a guest design team project to do for uh, Susan Taylor Brown, which will be popping us because she's keeping her Etsy shop as poppiness so this will come under poppiness when I do it that's why I also mentioned Susan um but yes I have every I was looking for that oh my gosh um those of you who were watching my um videos for G when I was doing the envelopes um that was the actual that was the envelope template I was looking for and couldn't find um but yeah this is um Susan's dragonfly daydreams i get it mixed up i always want to say dragonfly dreams but i think it's dragonfly daydreams anyway yeah um that's her kit that i will be working with i chose it months ago oh god i said months ago it was last year i chose it last year and i haven't got around to doing anything with it yet i did have a plan in mind and then i got ill and other stuff happened so it didn't get done and then afterwards i thought well actually i'm glad it didn't get done because i have a complete new plan in mind um susan a while back posted in the group start with a leaf a project start with a leaf absolutely anything but start with a leaf um and there are some leaves in there that i found one day i actually found them on the living room floor but um yeah i also when clearing out the other day found uh, the other week found this Oh, look what it is guys it's a leaf and not only is it leaf it's green and green is susan's favorite color so guess what i'm going to be doing now for my project my guest design team project see this is a guest design team project for susan um over at poppiness i'm going to be altering well so much altering but i'm going to be doing a planner style well planner one of these style um journals for susan so it is kind of a planner but um yeah it's already made so i won't be making the cover or anything but i will be working on um the inside pages of that so yes and it's all leaf themed and it's green which like i said again is susan's favorite color so i'm dead excited about that um it will be an ongoing project it's not going to be a quick one because I will be incorporating different techniques and stuff. I will be sewing as well by hand. Um, and yeah, I will be using the kit, obviously, to make some of the pages and inserts and stuff for the planner. Um, but as I said, I will be doing other things as well. So, and sewing will be one of them. Um, but yeah, I will document that as I'm doing it. But like I said, that's going to be an ongoing thing. And that is about it i've covered everything on my list anyway um yeah and i'm gonna go and have my tea because as you notice then five man came in um well he didn't see him but he did come in uh, to let me know tea's ready um yeah so i'm going to go and have my tea it is now what is it now it's about five o'clock i think oh no it's 25 to five 
Um, yep, so I'm going to go and have tea and then I'm going to do some more hooping and then I'm going to do my five minute walking workout and then I think I will just chill out then for the rest of the day. Um, but yes, so there you go guys. I just wanted to come on and say hello and just pre-warn you that videos might be a little bit scarce for the next week because we're still working on Taylor's bedroom and... Um, yeah, I've actually kind of like got nothing to film at the moment. I know I've just joined Tracy's design team. Um, but, you know, I've got the rest of the month to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm... Well, it's Saturday now, so like I said, I definitely won't have a video up tomorrow. Um, I will try and get a work in progress Wednesday video, but I've no idea what that might be. Maybe even one of the sewing. Um, again... Oh, speaking of sewing, um, I think I showed you this in the last video. I think I showed you this in the last Social Saturday video anyway, but yeah. I am up to date. Not up to date. I'm still behind, but I have done them. So this is the one that was just white. This is the heart one. I just stenciled in the background and added some material there and then did the heart on there. Um, that was the scrappy tag. Um, that was fly stitch. I did actually get it in the end. The thing is, now I've got fly stitch. I want to fly stitch everything because um, I just love it. That was the last work in progress Wednesday video I did, not last week, the week before, where I did that white cross stitching bit with you guys. Um, and then I did. I don't think I have shown these yet. I think I still need to edit these. I think I do. I've posted pictures on I do. I've posted pictures on Instagram, but I need to actually put these into a video, so I will do that. Possibly for tomorrow. We'll see. Um but yeah, um then we have a bevy of buttons. Again, fly stitch, and I got a bit cocky with that one and went in directions. No, that wasn't a bevy of but yes it was, that was a bevy of buttons falling and molting and then we have the hexes which are hexagons um, with material and I found two hexagon shaped buttons in my stash thanks to my fabulous friend Andy um, who sent me a load of buttons ages ago um, and then we had oh I actually I really enjoyed doing that one it's supposed to be like a garden theme with the sun um, I actually got creative with that one as you can tell and it was um, bullion stitch, pistol stitch and French knots. So um, yeah I actually did a bit of fly stitch there but it was still pistol stitch. Um, French knots at the end and then I, there's the pistol stitch, them little flowers there, um, there's the bullion knots which are like supposed to be it was supposed to be grass to begin with, but it, they look more like worms. So they're supposed to be like little worms. Then you've got the flowers, which is the... So you've got bullion stitch here. Um, then you've got pistol stitch there, which are long stems with a French knot on the end. Something like that anyway. Then you've got French knots anyway. And then I put a button on there and made it into a sunshine. But I couldn't resist doing the fly stitch. So I've got a bit of everything on there. It's supposed to look like a little garden. Yeah, anyway... So that's where I'm up to now, guys. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if I got that far with my social Saturday. I don't think I did. I don't think I showed it off on social Saturday last week or the week before. I can't remember when I did it. Um, I think it was a week before. Whatever. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so I've actually done some more and I've just remembered, although I put the pictures on Instagram, I need to do the video for that. I'll just do a... I didn't do any filming sewing. It's just going to be a um, slideshow video. Um, but yeah, so there you go guys And I'm definitely going to go Because we're at 39 minutes, oh my gosh And tea will be cold, well, we're having jacket potatoes So it doesn't really matter um, But yeah, so I am going And that's it, we are pretty much up to date I think, I believe I've got a couple of mail Oh yeah, I've got a couple of mail time videos To do actually um, Well, a couple of mail time and a craft haul video Just a small one <laughs> craft all I'll show you my hula hoop and my um, exercise bike the exercise bike's coming next Thursday so um, hmm. might even be brave and put my hula hooping videos up what do you think guys 
Would you like to see that? Um, let me know. <laughs> Actually, my hula hooping one's on Instagram. I put one on Instagram yesterday and I put it on as my... It's on my Instagram feed, but I put it on mainly as an Instagram reels and it hit over a thousand views within 30 minutes. I'm like, okay. I wish my crafting stuff did that. But anyway, um, yeah. But that was just getting it to spin around. I weren't actually walking in a circle on that one. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to log in and leave you guys because I'm going to go and have tea. And hmm, I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all well. Happy Easter to those who celebrate because it is Easter Sunday tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I got a hula hoop because now I get to eat lots of chocolate without feeling guilty. <laughs> um, but anyway... Thanks so much for watching guys. Take care and I will see you all again soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching.